Scoping out some spicy new features in the latest version of your Shopify theme? Need to upgrade? Stay tuned for a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to upgrade your theme with Git. Hey everyone, Thomas here. In case you missed it, in the last video on upgrades, I emphasized how one of the first things you should do when setting up a new theme on Shopify is to hook it up to GitHub with the Shopify GitHub integration. The Shopify GitHub integration continually syncs your theme code with a dedicated Git repository, which is the developer approved way of backing up theme code and any changes made to it. If you still haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out before continuing with what we're gonna talk about here. Well, it's been a few months now, and lo and behold, there's a new version of my theme available. Luckily, we set up GitHub on my store, so upgrading shouldn't be too tricky. Let's dive in and learn how to use Git to upgrade the latest version of your theme. Before we get started, I'm going to run you through the requirements you'll need to have in order for this to work. As I mentioned before, you need to have your theme connected and synced to Git. You can do this with the Shopify GitHub integration. You'll also need a Git client to perform Git actions. I recommend GitHub Desktop if you like a nice interface to click around, and it's what I'm using in this video. You're also gonna want a code editor. I highly recommend Microsoft Visual Studio Code since it's what I'm using in this tutorial and it has a bunch of Shopify extensions that make it easy to work with theme code. Finally, you'll need a theme that has had customizations done to its liquid files. If you've only been customizing your theme using Shopify's theme editor, you might be able to use Shopify's new automatic upgrades feature. No more work required. Check out the link in the description to find out more about Shopify's automatic theme upgrades. If all of these requirements are checked, then let's get started upgrading our theme. To get started, let's go to the Shopify theme store and add the latest version of our theme to our store. After you add it, you should see it show up as one of the unpublished themes in your online store admin. From there, you can select download theme files. You should receive an email with a link that allows you to download the files onto your desktop. Now that we have the files downloaded and ready to use, let's switch over to GitHub Desktop and get things set up for the new theme files. First up, our main branch called main doesn't really have a helpful name to indicate what version of the theme is currently contained in it. Let's create a new branch from main and give it the name and version of our current theme, which is Expanse 2.4.0. Finally, Let's publish this branch so it's saved and is accessible remotely on GitHub servers. Now that we've cleaned up the foundation, let's create another branch and give it the name of our new theme version. That is Expanse 4.1.0. Great. We now have a new Git branch called Expanse 4.1.0 that will eventually be the home of our new theme. Before we copy in any of our new theme files, let's take a look at our branch commit history. Commits are groupings of code edits made to your theme and saved to your repo over time. As you can see, we have a lot of commits here. Some of them are edits I made directly to the theme with Git, and others are changes synced by the Shopify GitHub integration when I installed some apps and made some edits in the theme editor. These edits were made to our old version of Expanse, and we're gonna wanna carry them over to our new version. To make this easier, let's combine all of these commits into one single commit. To do so, select the latest commit and then shift click to the oldest commit that contains edits. Heads up, make sure you don't select the commit that contains your fresh theme install without any edits. We're gonna wanna leave that one alone. In our case, the commit with the name initial commit contains the fresh unedited install of Expanse 2.4.0 before we made any code edits to it. With all the code edit commits selected, you can right click and select squash commits. When prompted, give your squash commit a useful name like customizations made to Expanse 2.4.0. Some of you familiar with Git might be thinking now, hey Thomas, these individual commits were useful and let me view each change separately. Now that they're combined, all of those changes are mixed together. This isn't helpful. Well, this is true, but don't be worried. Your individual unsquash commits will live on and continue to be accessible if you need them inside your old Expanse 2.4.0 branch. 
See, they're all still here. Okay, let's get back to upgrading. Now that we've cleaned up our commits, we have one commit that contains our unedited theme files and another commit that contains all the edits that were made to the old version of our theme. Next step, copy in the latest version of the theme. To do so, create a new branch from the latest commit that contains our unedited theme files. Right click on that commit, select create branch from commit and call it whatever you want. The name isn't really important since we're gonna be deleting this branch when we're done upgrading. It's time to copy in our new theme files into our new temporary branch. Open your branches files in your desktop file explorer and also open your new theme files in another file explorer window. Start dragging the new theme files into the folders of your old theme, making sure to overwrite them as you go. You're going to want to copy over all the files in the new theme, except the following. Don't copy over the settings underscore data dot JSON file found in the config folder. Also, don't copy over any template JSON files. Those are the files that end in dot JSON that are found inside the templates folder. I repeat, do not copy over these files or else you will lose all the settings and customizations that you've done in the theme editor. Once you've copied over all the new files, you can commit the changes to Git. I'm calling my commit update to expanse 4.1.0. So it's easy to tell at a glance what we did in this commit. We now have the latest version of our theme committed to Git, but we're missing all of the customizations from our previous version. Let's get those customizations applied to the new version of our theme. Go back to expanse 4.1.0 branch, select Choose a branch to merge into Expanse 4.1.0, select our temporary branch that we made, and then select Rebase as our method of merging the changes. This will start the process of merging our temporary branch, which contains the latest version of our theme, into the Expanse 4.1.0 branch, which currently contains the customizations we've made to our old theme. There's a chance this merge can happen automatically without any further action required. If that happens to you, awesome. But in our case, Git has encountered a merge conflict, which we'll need to resolve before the merge is complete. A merge conflict happens when Git can't figure out how to merge the code from both branches and needs your help to confirm what it should look like. As you can see, we have one conflict in our layout file. Let's open this file in Visual Studio Code and resolve the conflict. Once VS Code is open, hit the Resolve in Merge Editor button. This opens up a really handy view that helps with merging code conflicts. Look at the current and incoming windows up top. I can tell that both of these changes are needed, so I'm going to select Accept Combination. One final check in the output window below to make sure everything looks all right, and I can select Complete Merge. Let's go back to GitHub Desktop now. We can see that all the conflicts have been resolved. Hit Continue Rebase, and we're done. As you can see in our commit history, we have our first clean initial commit that contains Expanse 2.4.0. Then we have a commit that updates it to version 4.1.0. And then finally, our commit with all of our customizations. Nice. Last step here is to push our branch so that it can be accessed remotely on GitHub. And double checking that that was done successfully. Yep, there it is. We've upgraded our theme code to the latest version and pushed it to a new branch on GitHub. Now, all that is left is to connect this branch to our store and preview it to make sure everything is working as it should be. Go back to your online store admin and select add theme and then connect from GitHub. Drill down through the selections until we get to the repo, and then we'll select our new Expands 4.1.0 branch. The branch is now connected to our store. Now, let's preview the theme and make sure everything is working as it should. Select Customize on your new theme to open up the theme editor and have a look around. Make sure that you give your new theme a thorough test, especially anything that you've previously customized there's a chance that the customizations might need some tweaking to work on the latest version of the theme. Better you catch any bugs before your customers do. 
From what I can see, everything looks about right for us here. Let's get this thing published. Navigate back to your online store admin and select publish on your new theme. We are now live. Okay, last few things before we celebrate. Go to your old theme, which is now unpublished, and select disconnect from GitHub. This will make sure that no more edits from our store are synced to this old branch. Finally, go to your GitHub repo, select settings, then branches, and change your default branch to the new branch that is now the published theme on your store. This will make sure that every time you visit your theme repo, the default branch you're viewing will be the one that's synced and live on your store. Whew. We now have the latest version of our theme live on our store and synced with Shopify GitHub integration to make sure that any future customizations are tracked in commits. The next time you need to upgrade, you'll be able to follow the exact same process we just did here. Okay, let's be real. What we just covered here isn't exactly straightforward and might be a little intimidating. If you feel this way, you're not alone and it's totally normal. Luckily, there's another option available to you. The Theme Updater app by Out of the Sandbox is a Shopify app you can install in your store and does the exact process we just walked through, but in just a few clicks. Archetype customers get a 14-day free trial on all of the premium features, so you may as well give it a spin. Click on the link in the description below to get it installed. That's it for today. You're now equipped with everything you need to know to keep your theme up to date, regardless of code customizations. Subscribe to our channel if you found this tutorial helpful and want to be notified about future videos. Until then, happy theming.